All right, Michael, uh, thanks for coming by and sitting in with me on the first episode of the Video Pipeliners podcast. Thank you, Russell. Glad to be here and looking forward to exploring a few topics. So um, tell me, what's your background and what do you do? So my background started in the interstate gas transmission business way back, uh, 40 years on the owner-operator side, interstate uh, utilities, LNG, uh, short year at FEMSA. And uh, now I work for Burns & McDonald, and, and I'm an operations engineer expert. I go out and talk to clients about what their issues are, and then we'll figure out the business part of it later. So I'm going to ask you the same question I've asked a lot of other guys. Um, were you here the last couple of days, and if so, what committee did you hang out in? So I have historically been on a number of committees at AGA. Right now, for Burns & McDonald, I'm assigned to engineering. So I spent a fair portion of time there. I was in the DIMP committee because there were some things going on there that I wanted to hear. And I also spend time in supplemental gas because I was on that committee for several years. Well, you're getting around. So what, what do you think is probably the number one or two topics of interest in all of those conversations you had? Hydrogen. Okay, so <laughs> I have to ask this question. Is hydrogen real? Is it coming? Hydrogen is not coming. It's here. It's very real. And, and U.S. industry is starting to accept it, that it's here. There are pilot projects going on all over the country. The Europeans are way ahead of us, but the U.S. will catch up. So how, how fast is that going to change? How fast are we going to start seeing, how fast are the boots on the ground going to start seeing hydrogen in their pipeline? It's going to go as fast as the zero carbon emissions initiative really takes, takes hold and people start seeing the benefits of, of reducing the carbon emissions. Because when you burn hydrogen, there is no carbon emissions, and that's really important to a, a smaller group within the industry, but that smaller group is growing very quickly. Well, you know, I, you know it, this is one of those things that, I, I think this is one of those trains we're gonna have to get on. It, 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 the train has left the station. Uh, there's still some cars running by and they're slow enough we can jump on, but if you don't get on pretty quick, you're probably going to miss the train. Yeah, absolutely. The train is, has left the station in a number of states, uh, California being one in particular. Uh, but if, if you have existing gas infrastructure, the blending of hydrogen into that infrastructure reduces your carbon emissions and gets you carbon credits and the, the government is, is pushing that agenda. I don't know how long they're going to continue to push that agenda. But that is a major driver. So I know that for years we've been spending a lot of money to get the hydrogen out of the gas. Right. And I know that with some types of the metals, and this is not certainly not, not my expertise, but just conversations I've had, some types of the metals, they've actually talked about uh, hydrogen embrittlement. Is that going to be an issue? And what are, what are the plans around that? That is an issue uh, because there are a lot of steel pipes that are not going to be uh, uh, they're going to be susceptible to hydrogen embrittlement. Fortunately, I think the industry is going to focus at the start on distribution systems. And uh, while not all distribution systems have the uh, HPE pipe in the ground, that is a, a, a plastic pipe that is not susceptible to hydrogen embrittlement, not susceptible to corrosion and, and galvanic problems. And uh, my suggestion is industry needs to start thinking about on the distribution systems replacing service mains and service lines with HPE. So for all of the plastic pipe manufacturers out there, you heard it here first. That's awesome. Michael, thank you for coming by. Thank you, Russell, I appreciate it.